good afternoon and welcome to our next video on um, exploring the micro bit and uh, lighting up all the LEDs or lighting up some of the LEDs. And so we're going to create a new project and let's get to it. So the idea on this project is that we're going to use um, the make code interface to light up those LEDs on the micro bit. So for right now, we're just going to, um, we don't need to do it on start. We can do it maybe on a button press um, just so that we can sort of see it happen and we can understand when it's gonna happen or yeah. And so we're gonna start on input. So on button A pressed and then we're going to do so we're going to need to to plot out um, our numbers here and so you'll see that if i just sort of hover over the um, leds you'll see a little pop-up that says zero zero and this one here if i do the same thing let it go for a little bit come on do it Oh, it's there it is. So that's one one. And if I go to this one, it should be one two or two one. All right. Well, so the way to access these LEDs is um, but we can ad individually address them is through this LED category down here. And so we can plot our X and our Y. And so what I want to do just to explore to start with is we can go ahead and plot 0, 0, for example. So there we are. Next thing I can do, so if I wanted to increase my X by a little bit but leave my Y, I can now see. So my, my X is moving along here and my Y is moving along here. Now the one thing that's sort of interesting if I put in a, a 3 here, this again will be 2, so it'll be in this column and that should be down here. That's my guess. Boom. Yeah. So our, our positive is actually going down in this sense because we're sort of uh, starting from 0, 0 in the top left-hand corner of the micro bit, or based on the orientation we sh usually look at it, it's the top left-hand corner of of it is the, the origin, or 0, 0. And as we move to the right, we're increasing our x values. And as we move down, we're increasing our y values. And the other thing, too, to note is that we start counting from zero. And so when we start, start counting from zero, that means our maximum in our case here is going to be four. And so that's going to be down here. So we have zero, one, two, three, four. And so what we need to try to do is we want to light up these LEDs. And now we could go through and duplicate this and, you know, starting at zero, one, zero zero and then zero one but then we would have 25 blocks of you know these to, to go through so in fact we can make this more efficient by using some loops and so if I grab one of these loops there's a couple loops that we can use here but there's this one for index from 0 to 4 do something and so what this means is it tells us that we have a variable index that is going to start at the number 0 and so at the first time it goes through this loop index is going to be equal to 0 the next time it's going to be index is equal to, to 1 index equal to 2 index equal to 3 index equal to 4 and so that will go through each one of the values that we care about in terms of here. Now, if I wanted to change this to to 25 or to 30 or 70, uh, I can do that. And again, uh, the code in here will, I'll 
have to code something related to that. And so what we're going to do here is I'm going to get rid of um, one of these plots and I'm going to move this plot inside and then this one in here. And then so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this index. You'll see that it's sort of got a dotted line around it. And so I'm going to take this and put it inside here. And so this is that variable index that will go inside of this plot. And so now if I press go, it's going to plot up all of the from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, that was really, really quick. But let's go ahead and put a little bit of a, a delay in here. And so then we can see that happen. All right. There we go. So we could see those light up. Now that's that's great. And so now we sort of want to go through and do this on the next line and the next line and the next line, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So the way we can do this is right now we have one index. We're going to need another index that will help us so one will be counting our x and one is going to be counting our y. And so what we need to do is every time and so I've I've got uh, nested um, these for loops because what's going to happen is this first for loop is going to go from one to four on my x with the first time going through on this first one it's going to be at zero and then I'm going to increment or add one on my this one this outer one and then this one is going to reset now we can't do this with index and index it doesn't make any sense because if I took this index and I put it here and I run it it's just going to do this diagonal because it's just going to go through and this is both index and index are going to be the same value so we need to keep track of the index for this first one and the index for the second one so we're going to go into variables and we're going to make one called um, pause x or position x and another one called pause y and now we're going to use this one so pause x is going to be our x position I'm just going to get rid of this. And we're going to tell it this one. So for pause x from 0 to 4, plot pause x. So again, that's the, the position of the x as it goes through. And then we're going to do the same thing here. So we're going to replace this one. And then replace this one. So now let's see what happens as we run this. Now we might still have to play with the, the numbers, but let's see what we get. And there we are. So we're all lit up. And so again, as we go through here, our position X starts from zero and goes till four. And I guess I should step back a little bit. Position Y starts at zero, and then it jumps into position zero our position X for zero and then plots that so that's why we're getting this first column or this first row and then once it fi finishes this four times or five times sorry from zero to four then it will go and bump up to this one again it will say okay well now I finished zero let's go to one and so now it goes through this one again for five times and then it will keep going and so there you have it so if I was to, to restart this, I can press the A button, and there we go. Now, this is all great on the simulator, but let's go ahead and introduce the micro bit to this. So I've got my micro bit here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to download it. So that's I've already paired my micro bit, and you'll see here that when this starts blinking here should be blinking soon it's going to be downloading that onto the device oh maybe it didn't pair it well so I just got to go back here 
it just downloaded onto my computer. So I'm going to go and pair the device. So now I should be downloading it onto the micro bit. So download complete. Great. I guess I don't know if I if it's working or if it's working or not. Well, I know that there's no zero because that's the program that I was running before. And so if I just press A, there we have it. So you'll see all of the LEDs light up. And so if I click on the reset in the back here, just to restart it, and I press A, you'll see that all the LEDs are lit up. So my so there you have it. There's a, a get started. So my challenge to you, and I'll give you the the one block there, um, or just a reminder of the LED category. So there's also plot, toggle, unplot. So my challenge to you is to maybe on button A uh, B pressed, could you have it unplot or turn them off? And so, um, yeah, so there you have it. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. If you need any support, again, please feel free to reach out. Thanks again for watching and happy coding, everyone. Bye.